Okay, today is February the 7th, 2016. Uh, today in Los Angeles at uh, 10.30 in the morning, we have uh, 76 degree temperatures. We've got 12% for the relative humidity. We've got a barometric pressure of 30.06, and the uh, dew point is 19 degrees. It's windy, clear, and there's uh, no uh, aerosol chemtrails in the skies. We do have a lot of high pressure that's been uh, installed to uh, block not only this system here moving in, but uh, to prevent uh, this uh, moisture field right here. This is a tropical moisture field moving in uh, from the uh, south. That's all being blocked by this uh, high pressure that just was uh, placed uh, about two days ago. We've got low pressure spinning here on the 300 millibar chart, and that is all being blocked by all of this high pressure. Also, we've got the jet stream moving down. We've got another storm. This is a hurricane four storm, 961 millibar right here. We've got the jet stream uh, splitting uh, right here where all this high pressure is. But watch what's happening over Hawaii right here. Hawaii is being protected. That moisture field that would normally run right over the top of the uh, islands is, we've got high pressure right here. We've seen that over and over, and that would suggest this is all a US uh, operation here on the uh, East Pacific. Let's take a look at some of these other maps. We have the, uh, <clears throat> this is the infrared map. You see a very odd uh, angle forming right here. Looks like about a 30 degree angle, 60 degrees, more like 60 degree angle. Let's stop that and scroll through it. Yeah, that's very straight. See if I can find an envelope to uh, there. That is fairly straight. Looks like an arrowhead. Look at that. They're targeting that storm. Okay, you get the idea. All right, uh, let's take a look now at the uh, at the jet stream map. Okay, you can see that jet stream diving right down over the uh, Hawaiian Islands right here. They're not showing that uh, high pressure that's uh, disrupting this flow, but it's there. Uh, it's, they're just not showing it here on this map. And we see the split where all that high pressure has been uh, put into place. Man-made high pressure to uh, block the storm. <clears throat> now here's the western uh, U.S. water vapor loop. We can see clearly what's happening. We've got this high pressure that's been put into place two days ago. That's blocking all this uh, rain opportunity right here. This should be delivering rain into Southern California. We, we have a low pressure right here. This is a, uh, a low pressure that has a uh, transmitter right on top of it. And uh, this uh, low pressure cannot develop because of the heat that's uh, being forced down on top of it. We've got high pressure all through here. We can see the clockwise rotation. That's going to block this enormous storm, <clears throat> as well as blocking all that rain. We've got strong uh, Santa Ana winds blowing out of the uh, north uh, east. Going right through LA right now, we've got gusts up to 30 miles per hour. <clears throat> and uh, that has been, the winds have started up around 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we can see also the uh, high pressure right here. California is pretty much surrounded by, <clears throat> by moisture and we can't get rain for love or money. Can't, we can't get rain from the south, from the west, and we've got uh, moisture spiral, spiraling around from this clockwise rotation through Nevada and down this way, and California's not getting any rain. So uh, this is weather manipulation. There's just no other way to explain it. It's obvious. Let's take a look at the uh, surface pressure map, surface analysis map. See that 
storm. This is 970 millibar moving north northeast. We've got a front that's all broken up with uh, we've got some warm we've got a warm section here, warm front. We have a uh, very strong high pressure all through here. This has been here for about five days. 1044 millibar all up and down the entire west coast. There's a trough shown here. And uh, <clears throat> also, we've got this second storm. This is a 969 millibar hurricane force storm. This is moving right towards this other system. And we've got high pressure being installed right here between these two systems. Let's go back and look at the. Uh, Let's look at the uh, Northeast Pacific map. We can see the high pressure being placed between these two systems right here, right there. That will prevent this system from merging, running right into that storm and forming a giant superstorm. This will not be shown on television, by the way, for all the new uh, subscribers. We've got uh, weather manipulation occurring. And uh, we're watching high pressures being installed uh, on demand strategically right here, for instance, over Hawaii. Hawaii is being protected as it has been all the last three or four years since I've been watching this. All right, let's uh, take a look at the, uh, this is the Western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see the enormity of this storm system and all the high pressure that's been put into place right here. Got a lot of clockwise rotation. None of this uh, tropical flow is making it into California or Arizona or New Mexico. All right. You see the outflow right here. Where that high pressure is descending air. The effect that's having on the water vapor in this picture. Back here and see that that outflow moving out. Okay, you saw that. Let's take a look at the. Uh, this is the East Pacific water vapor loop. We can see high pressure being installed right down here. Within about five, four or five hours' time, we're seeing a huge area of high pressure being set into place right here, and that will generate a lot of clockwise rotation to keep this flow moving in a uh, easterly fashion. They don't want it moving up into California, obviously. It's all blockaded right here, right at the border. Also notice, see the, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, this is the infrared loop uh, for the East Pacific right here. We've got Mexico, same image. And we have a, a very uh, orange area moving right, right into Mexico. And watch what happens right here where the pen tip is. This just suddenly opens up into a uh, high pressure zone, a very dry area right here. So again, this is weather manipulation on display. Got this high pressure right here being uh, installed right down here. Okay, let's take a look at Alaska. You see that storm system moving right into the uh, Alaskan area. An interesting uh, 60 degree angle right there. Here's the uh, IR map. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, sea level pressure. <coughs> See all that high pressure installed? 1,040 millibar right up here near the uh, Idaho, Montana, Washington area right here. And uh, this has been here for several days. Block this system. Now this will remain in place because we have another storm right behind this one. So they're building high pressure right between these two systems to keep them from merging. And so this this uh, this pattern will continue, and California will remain dry. Looks like here is the uh, 500 millibar. We can see high pressure right here. We've got a low right down. Right down here, low pressure. And that field right here, this moisture field is not getting anywhere, stopping right at the border. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, 300 millibar. And we can see the uh, 
Got low pressure indicated all through here. And the interesting thing we've got, if we go back to the 500 millibar, we have high pressure, basically right next to low pressure. We've got this low, it's got a transmitter on it, and that's why it's, <clears throat> it's not developing into anything important. Uh, they've got it completely surrounded by um, high pressure. All right, let's look at the, uh, the ocean swell report. And we have 35-foot uh, seas right in the core of that system. And as we move out, we can see we've got 30, 24, 21, and 23-foot seas all along here. And 9-foot seas all right along here. And this is all going to be moving into the West Coast in the next three to four days. Okay. Let's take a look at the... Uh, Go back and take a look again at what's happening here. Watching right here at the border. None of that rain is getting into the United States, despite the strong uh, northerly flow. So this is a very good evidence of what we're showing pretty much on a daily basis. California is surrounded by moisture all the way around, and there's just no rain. It's not getting in. Okay, so uh, we will monitor this uh, not all day. We're going to watch the game. I hope Denver wins. But uh, we'll keep an eye on things, and we may do an update later. Okay, that's it.